Yo, what is up, guys? In today's video, I have an exclusive meeting with the devs, uh, Lazy Kaz and Yo-Yo, the community managers. Absolutely amazing people. I just want to uh, give a disclaimer that none of the things that stated here have a timeline or um, are scheduled at any point. So everything is work in progress, especially the FPP part. So, guys, please enjoy the whole conversation. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we value your feedback, so leave it all in the comments below. I love y'all. Enjoy. Enjoy. What's up, guys? Hi, Lazy Kaz, Yo Yo, everyone. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great day. It's a bit early here for me, so I had to wake up extra early for this. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, not, not a problem. Um, I want to start off by saying that the update is absolutely amazing. I think the um, idea of buddies and like creatures to be added in the battle royale genre is kind of mind-blowing uh no one saw this coming I th and i think like this innovation is way overdue and uh i would have to say that everyone here is pretty much happy with uh with the whole concept and idea um and it, and it feels and it feels very um organic uh, to the genre itself uh so that's definitely a plus for the devs so i want to applaud them for that so thank yeah. you I, um i think yeah uh it, it's a it's been it's been planned for a very very long time um mm -hmm. i think someone mentioned in your own video uh it predicting um, it, it went all the way back to, I don't know, uh, late last year. And yes, it, it went all the way back to late last year, around November. I think we, we talked about, you know, the mega bars um, and things like that. That was around when we envisioned, you know, um, a completely new um, play style where you can, you know, there, there, so there's all the weapons as well. And it's not just about the buddies. Um, it's about the weapons as well. It's, it's the whole ecosystem where there is a hero shooter you have great heroes, you have great weapons, and then there are elements in a game where uh, it just adds more variety to each match that you play. It's, it's not like, oh, it's, it's boring, it's, it's another match again. Um, it, so we wanted to create that. And there's going to be the mecha boss as well. Uh, we're still working on it. Um, the, the, buddies, the buddies just took up so much resources. Uh, we can't get everything done um, all at the same time, but um, there's going to be the mecha boss as well. So Yeah, no, yeah. that's awesome. Especially the guns. I wanted to note the guns feel so, um, so immersive and real to the touch and to the mechanics. It feels so well done. I'm not sure what they did, but they actually nailed the guns, in my opinion. I think the guns are in a really good spot right now. Um, the thing I would like to note out is what everyone is saying um i know there's a lot of testing already with the speed and the flow of the game but i still feel like the characters are walking on mud i don't know if you know what i mean it's like quicksand it, it, it's it's the whole dynamic of um the overall running speed is still slow so i would suggest if you can up it by five to ten percent overall i think that will balance the whole thing uh including reloading and meds uh, the meds still feel a little bit slow even though we've added that smaller uh med kit or bandage it's it still feels overall slow to the gameplay and the combat so i think that's what everyone is alluding to. yeah yeah i got you i got you yeah. um i think yeah I, I i personally think the med kits are a little slow as well <laughs> yeah yeah, like the med kit, yeah. No. so at least we the shields it's that. okay but no, the med kits no, you think, know i think the shields have always been in a good spot i think it's just the med kits and the reload time oh, yeah well, it's either you fix the reload time or the weapon switch because both are slow and uh, it just gets us mm -hmm. in a very tight spot um uh, during uh, the weapon practice. switch is a it's a it's a bit new Mm -hmm. um, it used to be you know really really fast. There, there's no animations um, switching the weapons in the past, right. and like there, there's a little bit of animation right now switching the weapons. You have to you have to put it back and then get a new weapon out of your jetpack. So it's like there, there's a slight bit of um, wind up time in between switching your weapons right now. So it's it's by design, and I think uh, I, I I I think I, I asked I asked about um, why there is such a wind up time. Right. Um, they want they want the game to feel a little more tactical mm -hmm. um, and balanced when it comes to you know uh, I, intentionally doing something intentionally um, changing your strategy so they, they want that feel to come through overall in the game um, so tactical is a very key term I think I think we mentioned it a lot many many times in the patch notes uh, in the video a tactical making you feel tactical is a very important. Uh, uh feeling that we want to convey right. um 
uh, but the movement, yeah, I, I, I do, I do agree. Some of the movements might be too slow. Mm -hmm. um, movement speed. I'm not sure if they're gonna make big changes to the movement speeds right now, um, because um, uh, this is all private here. We're we're working on a first person perspective mode, um, and and it's very important that we 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 don't speed up everything for because uh, as I mentioned, FPP it it instantly feels faster. Even if it's the same speed, it feels faster. The movements feels more fluid. Um, but if you speed it up for a TV perspective, um, and then when we launch an FPP mode, um, we, we might have to put things back to the original state. And it, it I, I don't know. Um, there, there's a lot of things to consider um, in that regard. Um, we'll, we'll, but we'll talk about it. Right. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. As long as uh, you guys are working on something towards that, then that's perfect. And FPP would definitely bring a lot of new audience, uh, especially the you know people who uh, like the first-person shooter aspect of uh, any VR or shooter. So that's a really great addition. Um, my second point as well is the um. I'm assuming you, uh, the devs are already working on it, but the buddies, absolutely amazing addition, but they do feel soulless or they lack personality uh, in uh, some aspects. Um, I mean, they're not moving around, there is no interaction between the, the player and the buddy. Um, it just feels right now they're just skills and abilities that you acquire rather than actual creature, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I, and, I, and, I saw, <laughs> and I saw Maxi's um, comment, moving buddies will be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Gonna like even even, joy while even if them. it's like a hexagon or a square movement uh, dynamic in the game, if they go from one loot box to another, but just for you to see them move, it just brings them to life. You know, you know, it just like feels yeah, like yeah, like a living, mm -hmm. like like a real living creature. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah, I, we'll, I hope we'll try, try to figure that. it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, and the training ground as well. I, I think you were in my stream when I spoke about it, but we urgently need a solo training ground. All the noises in the background <laughs> and people are shooting in your ears <laughs> and like people yeah, are like yeah. disturbing your I, like, I just, saw your feed. Yeah, not just uh, <laughs> not just um like content creators, but everyone. I mean, this is like it's been requested for a while that uh, we have like a solo yeah. mode in the training ground. Just especially, to, I think I think the problem just pops up so so badly because of this update like everyone wants to go into it uh, and yeah. go in there and, and test things out so it's like oh it's so it's just so bad it's so chaotic <laughs> at it right now it's like so hard to <laughs> even in my um even in my latest video where i kind of do a detective work on the new map that i i guess there will be that i couldn't even like move a step without people like shooting me like blowing me up i'm like oh my god i i need to i need i need to take a break <laughs> but yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah hopefully we can get like a mode like that if you can suggest it to the devs that'd be awesome i already already talked to them um we'll see what we can do uh because there, there, there's a server thing uh with the training ground as well so if you if you open the new training ground for you know i don't know one one person or a few persons it's one server um mm. in terms of server structure right so 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 we, 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 we but i but i remember that you talked about um like turning off the other players in the play in the training ground like they're you're still in the same training ground but you can turn off people um that could also be a solution right but yeah, yeah i've already talked to them we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what we can do oh that's awesome that's amazing um what else did I oh yeah uh, any uh, updates on the vehicles um any improvements on the vehicles because right now they i mean from what they used to be to what they are now is like you know completely uh, different. yeah yeah um so so vehicles they used to be more of a uh, uh an attack kind of um uh mechanism mm -hmm. um it it kind of um focus more on you know dealing damage um in a variety of ways right now right now what we are trying to do is because because there's so many different elements we're going to touch on maxi's problem later on um, uh, who is asking uh, if the game is going to be more complicated for new players. So be, there are so many elements right now in the game. Um, there's the hu uh, hero's abilities, there's the buddy's abilities, there's the weapons, um, there's the vehicles, and then there's going to be, you know, different areas of the map where you'll see Mecha Boss. Um, there are just so many things happening. Um, right. we, we, we have to find a way to uh, 
uh, to have the, the different elements uh, perform in their own unique niche, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so the unique niche is going to be, in general, it's going to be the, the damage that you're going to deal um, to your enemies are going to focus on your hero abilities and the weapons. That's why a lot of the weapons feel more aggressive um, at, at right now. Um, and we, we, we've put a lot of effort into making the weapons feel good. Um, so the, the damage dealt is going to be focused on your heroes and the weapons. And then there is a support, kind of more supportive role um, uh, with the buddies. And then there's the mobility factor with the vehicles. Um, this is kind of the overall, the general plan um, right. for all of those different elements. Um, I, I don't think we're going to go down the route where uh, we, we make the vehicles um, uh, damage dealers, like really great damage dealers um, mm -hmm. anymore in the future. Uh, but then there's going to be the mecha boss uh, where, where, where we envision it um, to be a boss where everyone comes together, fight the boss, and then um, some they, 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 can, they get to ride the boss um, with, you know, um, some damage. So, so this is how we envision it to be, but it's it's gonna be you know a very specific, um, uh, very specific part of the vehicle gameplay that that deals damage. It's it's more like in general the vehicles are are gonna be more you know help you with the mobility moving right. around. So the so the mech boss will it be a, a, a permanent uh, game mode or is it gonna be an event or is it gonna be within the rank system of the map? Um, we can't say for sure yet, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you 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 see you see right okay. <laughs> nice right um what else do i have? yeah so yeah one last thing the um are you guys have any plans for marketing the game since this is a whole new you know like it's an mm. e extraordinary uh take on a vr so i think the time is now if you guys are gonna ever advertise the game or market it i think this is like <laughs> the perfect time yeah but uh one thing one thing is that the management like uh including the producers including you know, uh, uh, bosses at Lilith Games, um, uh, which put a lot of resources and time thinking about um, making the game for the better. Um, we, we, we want to play the long game. So this is just the very beginning um, of, of the new era of Part 84. We're going to try, we're going to test the ground and try a couple, you know, really large influencers to, you know, to play the game, um, try it out and see what they feel. Um, but we're not going to push, you know, at that at this moment, at this very moment, we're not going to push for you know a really large marketing campaign um, mm -hmm. to get people to uh, uh, to keep it, to get people on board. There are a lot of contents that we think uh, we need to put into the game. Um, uh, still, there there are so many buddies that we are that we're planning to do. Um, there are new heroes that we're we're planning to put into the game. There, mm -hmm. there's the new map. So I think I think. Uh, and right now, especially uh, when Sunder Realms is is basically the only um, uh, feasible map for ranked, mm -hmm. uh, because you know, uh, it, it isn't balanced anymore w when it comes to ranked. Uh, there, right. There's the the map design; it doesn't work for the current framework, um, right? So, so Sunder Realms is basically the only map that that works as a whole piece uh, you know you know the that where the puzzles are all put together um it's not enough right you you were talking about all oh, map rotations and things like that right. it's definitely not enough so i think i think we need more content in the game um we need we need everything uh, to be in place before we, we really push for that big marketing push yeah yeah that would be amazing to see like gary said like afk journey kind of marketing because we saw that game everywhere like afk journey like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i couldn't i couldn't even open my instagram or facebook without like an ad popping up like afk journey it's like literally like being pushed so hard and i really hope we can see farlight in that position because we really love farlight and we think it deserves that kind of marketing really yeah. we we are capable i think as a company yeah um as a as a studio uh we're capable of doing that uh we're we're different teams definitely mm -hmm. uh but you know the capability is there amongst the, the different teams where we can you know uh, uh, uh share resources with so yeah. so you don't have to worry about um marketing 
uh, our capability of marketing. Um, it's, it's it's about the timing. It's about、um, when we when feel it,、right. that yeah. we、mm-hmm. yeah the game is ready、mm-hmm. for a big marketing push, especially、mm-hmm. in tier one countries.、Mm-hmm. Um, I think、uh, the 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 moving forward,、um, it's really important to not just look at you know,、um, for example, the Philippines where where we really、uh, try put a lot of effort into.、Um, I think last year, mid last year, around mid last year, yeah.、Um, I think we we have to really really look at you know more different countries, Latin America, more parts of Southeast Asia, North America, Europe, Japan, Korea. Um, we really have to look at you know there are so many markets out there, so many different cultures and regions.、Um, so yeah, th- there's a lot of opportunities. I wanted to ask you actually about that.、Uh, what about China? Are, are you guys gonna launch any campaigns later in China? That's I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. Yeah, because that's that's a huge market. Oh my god, that's massive. Um, okay. Anyway, I can't gonna, talk about it. We'll, we'll move on to the next question. Ah,、uh, hero revamps. So, like,、uh, what's the plans for hero revamps? Like MKR. Uh, Captain、uh, Sunil, is that coming? Yeah, they're they're all they're all in in the plans.、Um, uh, it, it, it's it's interesting. We actually had a discussions、um, about、uh, removing some of the heroes that are not getting updated yet.、Right. So I think it was、uh, a few months back or half a year back when、oh, there are so many、uh, heroes right now that are still、uh, using the Jet Flash、uh, mm-hmm. as their ability instead of a real ability. Right. Um, um, and then we we thought about okay, let's remove those like kind of like older heroes、uh, from the game.、Um, and then、uh, the the team was this no, we, we we shouldn't remove heroes because people love playing certain heroes. Even if, for example, Captain, it's not very、uh, it's not very much played by a lot of players, but there are players who, who like playing Captain.、Um, so so we we thought oh we we're just gonna.、Um, Uh, put it that way.、Um, uh, keep、um, putting the heroes in the game first,、um, and then just update them、uh, on the go.、Um, for、um, oh, I, I I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell us you can. But, yeah. us. Give us no, a but, little hint.、Um, for some other versions of the game that is gonna be published in other parts of the world. Okay.、Ah, <laughs> um, um, there are gonna be ex- some exclusive、um, heroes. Mm-hmm. Um, for testing,、right. and then some of the heroes that are not、uh, ready, you know, like Captain MKR, Sienna,、um, they haven't got their full, you know, uh, uh, abilities designed yet. They're not gonna be available in 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 those test regions.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, so, so we're 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 gonna look at it at uh, uh, from a holistic perspective,、um, and kind of, you know, okay, the the game is has already. Got a lot of players、uh, around the world, so we're not gonna、um, remove heroes、uh, for those regions. And then for di- other regions, we're go- we're we're gonna have a different approach.、Mm, I see. Okay, that's very interesting. That's cool.、Um, any plans? Because I keep hearing you guys saying cup, Farlight Cup. So any plans for esports that's coming? Hopefully in the future. Oh, Farlight Cup. Farlight Cup is is kind of like、um, the、uh, the universe that we the the word envisioning.、Mm. So. Um, we're not. We're not actually talking about、uh, actual esports.、Um, uh, I, I, I think esports. It's also something that、um, uh, is very much related to marketing efforts.、Mm-hmm. I I was back when many years ago. I was working on T3 Arena,、uh, a different you know mobile、uh, shooter, hero shooter game, very small title.、Um, and there 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 was a lot of discussions amongst the community where. Um, uh, whether the game is pushing for esports too early,、mm. um, so I I think I think we have to be very careful about. I would I would personally say that I feel that the、um, the large kind of large scale esports that we did in the Philippines was a bit too early for its time. Yeah,、um, I agree. I didn't make the decisions,、uh, but I personally would think that it's just a bit. Too early for its time.、Mm-hmm. Um, we we need we need first of all we need more players、um, right. uh, to to be really dedicated to the game、um, for I don't know at least for quite a while、um, before we really push into the esports thing. I think I think that would be the the the, the right strategy. Right,、um, that would be perfect. And actually, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, and especially because we have been again, we've been changing so much of the game. It's it's literally a new game every time we update well, it. That, that's what I like. Say <laughs> in this, the past year, it's it's a little bit uh, disheartening. Some of the comments in my videos, they would say like, "I want to invest in the game again, but I'm scared they're gonna change it again. Like, what's gonna come after buddies? You know, like there there is some people who are still you know uneasy to come back or like to feel you know. So like, what would you say yes. to those players? Yes, yes, I think it's two sides of a coin. Mm -hmm. Um, the the first. The first side would be when you look at games like, for example, Bloodstrike. Uh, we're seeing a lot of um, the community of the, uh, the Bloodstrike community talking about, oh, it's just skins, it's skins again. Oh, new skins. Oh, the skins look cool. Um, if if a game update content in a way that it's just skins, yeah, um, it, it it doesn't it isn't good for the game or for the community. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so from that just one side of the coin, we're updating the game. We're, we're really putting new content into the game. We're really putting thoughts into designing the game for the better. Right. We're really thinking, oh, this hero skills, how, how are we going to do it better? Um, oh, OK, this hero's um, uh, appearance, for example, Bo, we just updated Bo's look. Oh, Bo is amazing. It's so cool now. We're yeah. really, we're really putting thoughts into those content of the game. Mm -mm. Um, so that's one side of the coin. I think we're doing good um, uh, in that regard. Um, and in terms of you know changing too much of the game too frequently, yeah, um, yes, that that's a that's a big problem. But I think um, moving forward, we're not gonna we're not gonna change that much anymore. Um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I exactly. Just to build right. relatability to the characters and the and their ability to get them familiar with them and to um you know just to per, uh, build personality of each character. So I think yeah, exactly. Like uh, I think a lot of changes could definitely hurt uh, the in the long run. So like keeping them relatively kind of the same and just progression wise will be awesome. Yeah, I think I think we're kind of um, settled on you know the framework that we have right now, mm. um, the new brand. Um, the new style that we have, um, I think, I think it's quite cohesive um, at the moment. Um, what we're uh, and move, but moving forward, what we're gonna do is to put more content into the game, uh, the new map, right? Uh, more buddies, um, and then more heroes, um, and also, uh, you know, the, the the weapons that we're we're doing. There, there are gonna be new weapons as well. Um, so, so moving forward, it's gonna be like, oh, we have this framework already right. we're gonna start putting more and more content um into the game through the to through the updates that's amazing that was my next and last question um the the battle pass season and the current events i feel like they're too far apart is there any adjustments that's gonna happen to that in the upcoming update i don't think i think it was it was quite recent um i don't think we're gonna we're gonna change that approach um so soon um, we're, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna keep, um, the season, the length of the season as it is right now, um, at least for, for the rest of the year. <laughs> I don't know about next year. Um, maybe things can change, uh, next year, um, with the season length. Uh, but at the moment we feel that it's, it's, it's just about the right, um, length because we want the update cycle of the game to go to complement really well with the season, right? And we're we're seeing a long a, a longer update cycle. So last year we used to be updating the game uh, about once a month, um, and then this year we're moving to towards an update cycle where we update the game. Uh, there, there's a uh, kind of like a mid season update every six weeks, and then there's a season up update, a bigger update um, every three months. So it's like the the update cycle is slightly longer. We're putting more content into the game uh, in the updates as well. Um, so we want that, you know, three month update uh, to mean something for the player. So, so we, so, so, so the season length is kind of um, complement um, really well with the the speed that we can update the game with. Right. If that makes sense for you. No, it makes a lot of sense. Um, just from my experience, if I can give my feedback, um, whether they want to take it or not, I think like we need a shock factor, which is um, I, I know Bloodstrike could be a very bad example because of their skins uh, method, uh, but anything similar that can be included in game that is uh, new every, I don't know, every 10 days or every two weeks, maybe a bundle or maybe a small event in game 
but I think people are more attracted to things that are that pop that pop up in game that's new and that's what keeps mm, some mm, players mm. coming back you know what I mean I know we tried mm, the mm, method mm. of like doing some events outside like Facebook and Instagram but that's completely different that could be like a cherry on top of the events that are currently in the game so I think maybe like a 10 to 2 weeks cycle of something new in the game even if it's small I think that will keep the players engaged even if it's a small bundle of a new skin of Lucent or uh, anything if you know anything at all I think that will keep mm, mm, mm. the game going and alive yeah I, I would totally agree with that <laughs> if if we have the capacity to do to do more like skin contents I think I think we're 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 lagging behind a little bit with um, uh, this past skins um, right. we're, I we used to have like lots of skins uh, in in the previous seasons and then this season I feel like we have fewer skins because is it a different team uh, that's making the skins, the... or is it like still? It's like a whole different department. It's the same. It, it, it's, it's the same. It's the same team. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just. It's just that. Yeah. It's just that we're putting the re resources into all of the weapon skins. We have to redo all of the weapon skins, literally all of them, um, and then we have uh, we have you know new heroes that we're working on. So it's like oh, there there's so much we're working on. Right. <laughs> That it, the skins are kind of. <laughs> is, there, is there a possibility that the team expands in the future, or do they have no interest in doing like so we can have more allocated um, I, departments? There, there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely um, a, a chance for that, but I, I don't think sometimes in terms of um, game development, it's not like you put more people into the game, you 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 have more content. It's not always the case. Right, makes absolutely sense. You can have a thousand people work on the game, but it can fail like Concord. Right. Oh so, my God! That's not talking so, about. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, but you know, you, know, uh, you, you can have so you can have a huge team working on the game for eight years, yeah. but it doesn't work. So, so it's not always about putting more people <laughs> or putting more time into the game. It's it's more like oh, we have that idea. We want we want the, we want to realize that idea. We have that vision um, and want to do it. Um, it's it's more it's more like that. <laughs> Right, right. Sorry, I, I promised. Last question. But the buddies, are we? Do we have like a roadmap for what buddies is gonna be added? Is it like every one once a month or every three months we're gonna have new buddies added? Um, I I don't know about the exact uh, timeline or roadmap, uh, but there are there are a lot. I can I can assure you there are a lot of buddy designs um, that we have in the documentation. <laughs> there are just so much, so many many designs. Um, uh, so, so I can, I can, I can quite, I, I, I'm quite confident that we can update uh, a few buddies, um, uh, uh, once in a while. Uh, we're, it's, it's not, but we have to think about updating too frequently as mm -hmm. well, because, um, it's a, uh, the buddy mechanism is, itself is very new. Um, people are still getting used to, you know, okay, I, I have the hero's abilities and then I have buddies to complement my hero's abilities. Um, and they're learning the 10 buddies that we have uh, or, you know, mostly eight buddies that you can find um, in on the, on the field right now. Yeah. So it's like there, there's a learning curve. So we have to be careful about, you know, not 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 putting too many new buddies Very too fast. frequently. Yeah, right. So the people, yeah, they, they just, oh, I, I, I'm still learning the previous buddies. And now there are these new buddies that I can't learn. Um, you have to care, be careful of that. Yeah, I told it. Oh, well, thank you so much for answering all the questions. I'm gonna leave the stage for whoever wants to go. Thank you, Lazy. Thank you, Yo Yo. I'll be uh, in the audience. No problem. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, quickly answer some questions in in the chat. Um, I really want to touch on Maxi's question on you know uh, being complicated for new players due to so many buttons. Uh, uh, and then two more buttons for buddies, and then there's the auto, you know, uh, the assault rifles, the auto, semi-auto, and uh, semi-auto mode. Um, so getting more complicated. I think um, first of all, we uh, we when when we when we planned for all of these new content in this update, um, there's a very um, important concept that we have is that we want whether it's PC or mobile. Uh, we want the game to to be tactical enough where you can have enough strategies and depths when playing the game. Um, so we we didn't really think too much uh, about you know oh how many how many um, 
uh, 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 whether it's gonna work well on mobile or whether it's gonna work well on PC, we we we, we rather we think about um, what we can do with the tactics first. Um, we we uh, during this process we did have a lot of uh, thoughts on buttons because um, I think we mentioned that we we did want to avoid having too many buttons um, uh, uh, on on the device. Um, but then throughout the process, we kind of we kind of realize that we we have to um, let let it go a little bit um, on on the number of buttons that we have uh, on the device. Um, and, but on the other on the other hand, um, it, it's actually good to have those tactics first. Um, and for newer players, um, you don't have to learn all of those really detailed new tactics. Um, you can still play the game as it was uh, without, you know, uh, without using buddies all the time. Uh, you can, it still works because the buddies are more like supplementary to your hero skills. You just need to learn your hero skills first, and then you just need to learn about your weapons first. Um, it's, it's, it's more like oh, there, there's this option where um, the really skilled players can really shine with the new features. That's kind of like the. Um, the thinking behind the design right now. Um, whether it's going to be too complicated for new players, we've been doing play tests um, with um, new players that haven't played the game before. Um, they came from, uh, they used to play games uh, that are, you know, from a, from very different games. Um, the play testers, they played Apex, some of them played Apex, some of them never played uh, shooter games. Uh, they, some of them play, uh, you know, League of Legends or Dota. Um, uh, some of them play uh, Valorant, some of them play uh, CSGO. Um, so uh, from from those different experiences, um, I feel like even if players who have, have not played uh, shooter games at all, um, they find it fun to play um, in, far, in the new Varda 84. Um, and that's very encouraging. Um, so whether it's uh, too complicated, I think uh, we're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna continue to get some. Training mode, yeah. Training mode. We answer that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with the training mode. It, it's just so chaotic. It's just so chaotic. How did you? How did you? How did you manage to maintain a balance and optimization with so many effects and new features? Um, maintaining balance um, and optimization. I think balance game. Ba uh, game balance and optimization could uh, should be different questions. Um, in terms of game balance, we do a lot of play tests, um, and we have uh, our game designers uh, come from really top teams um, of in in terms of competitive games, um, including League of Legends. Uh, and some of the some of the um, game designers actually uh, were top esports players. Um, in MOBAs and shooters, um, so we do we do have a we do put a lot of emphasis on game balance. Um, and I, I so far I don't think game balance is, has been an issue in Farda eighty four so far. Um, game balance has always been quite well done, except for um, uh, the the jetpack where it it just breaks the general game design framework. So, um, but other than that, I. I, I feel like game balance has been quite well done in Farda 84. Optimization, we're still working on uh, optimization for September 12th. Um, there's still some way to go in terms of optimization. Small adjustments with heroes have not been applied. We answer that. Heroes that have not been modified. Tactical ability, we're going to add more uh, new tactical abilities um, to the heroes, adjust them. Um, MKR, I. I, I can't I can't share um, a very clear roadmap for you know okay in the next update which here is going to be updated um, because uh, they 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 go through a lot of testing um, and and sometimes even if we even if we plan to have a certain hero to be uh, updated in a certain update we might get past that date and we, we're still testing it um, so I, I can't share exact dates. Um, right now, I'm sorry, but you, we, we would definitely share updates in the videos, right? Um, every time we update the game, we share a patch notes video, we share the what's next video, so uh, we'll keep the communication going. Switching buddies. Hello. Hello. Okay, you guys can hear me nice. So I guess uh, the thing I put in chat, I don't think having the uh, buddies too much for an extra button. I was thinking if you guys added like a wheel similar to the health wheel for the buddies, it'll make it a little bit easier for newer players oh the, the the buddies on pc is actually a wheel 
Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I think I think I, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it through. But the okay. yeah, the, on the PC version, it's a wheel. Okay. I mean, it'll be. I think you have a lot of slots, so it might be a little bit hard. Maybe be precise, but I definitely could see it potentially. Mm, yeah. Yeah. There. There. If you have. Um, um, but buddies are not the only thing that you you can catch, right? Yeah, I think. That, yeah. That uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, it's a mechanism that works well with the wheel, uh, indeed. <laughs> Okay, cool then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, talk and see if we can, we can make it a wheel uh, on mobile as well. Yeah, because I, re I remember you guys had a wheel, or you had a heel wheel for a mobile. You also had it on stroller as well. So I think it worked really well on mobile. Mm, it's just mm, super mm. intuitive for the platform. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. I guess overall, I had like three main things I talk about. Uh, I have a lot of quality of life things I think would do well. I think I have some, but I guess the major thing I believe Zach was talking about it a little bit earlier before I, I was still commenting the movement of the game i don't mm. know if you guys have notes that i've sent off yet but i guess currently my main thing i was saying i mean actually i'll just read it from have you guys read them or heard them or uh, please 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 okay. so here you go um before i go into this though i want to say i love the just the dedication that it's been going into the game and how it's consistently just being upgraded and updated currently i it looks beautiful it literally looks amazing but okay so here are my thoughts on the current movement system so far 84 has made significant progress but i believe the movement mechanics still need attention even with the jetpacks movement there were moments of stillness due to cooldowns and it made the gameplay feel a bit disconnected the, mo mm. the removal of jetpacks has worsened or heightened this issue and the base movement speed is potentially too slow making the game feel sluggish and actions like healing and reloading feel unnecessarily delayed and I believe it negatively affect, affects the pacing, making it a bit uh, challenging to outplay squads or enjoy fast paced action. And so I guess my solution is I feel like movement needs to be faster and more dynamic to keep the gameplay fluid and engaging. And with the sliding mechanic it's cool that it's added, but I believe it should offer like a more significant speed boost and essentially transition between all those sliding, jumping and sprinting. It should be like a seamless transition. And so I was thinking there's a, I gave like three movement options. So currently when you slide in Farlight, it's kind of flat. Like you slide it, you slide, but it doesn't feel like it aids you in any way. So one example I had was you have a momentum type, like an apex type sliding would reward timing and increasing the velocity with a cap around maybe something like Sunil's ultimate speed. So what I mean is like, as you slide, you'll get faster and it'll of course have a cap. But if you're hitting these uh, points perfectly, then your character model will be able to move faster. Another thing is I noticed the game kind of has a slide cancel mechanic in it a little bit. So even mm. potentially a war zone type uh, mechanic where you are just doing like a full sprint, you would like increase the base sensitivity, not sensitivity, you would increase the base movement speed of the game and you're just running into it like a full sprint. And when you want to go ahead and outplay enemies, you might hit a slide cancel. I'm just trying to see, like, give like multiple options based upon where I see what movement I already see in the game potentially. But yeah, I think that could allow for a slide canceling method. And then I guess the mm. last but not least would be a COD Mobile, like a Fortnite type. Uh, COD Mobile, it's it's very, it has a lot of movement, and you can kind of just like in, like to do it. I guess you would have to increase like the base sprint speed, and then the slide jumps would provide you a boost with like almost no cooldowns or dead slides, and then like any transitions like would not slow down gameplay. And that's a really simple type of movement mechanic, but it does work really well, I think, for the COD Mobile audience. It's just main thing it has it's it's a very fun gameplay loop that continue that allows you to continuously outplay your opponents so if mm. once farlight gets something like that i believe and it kind of saw it with jetpacks but once farlight gets something solid like that i think it would take the game to like another level completely there's something solid a game uh movement mechanic that you can continuously play around mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you think it would be a bit too much to ask for if uh you know if i would like you to do a video on it um, so that you know, um, we we can we can look at the video with the, uh, okay. with the devs together, and you know we're we're, we're just gonna go through every one of them, um, and see what we can do. Uh, it, yeah, would it, no, would it be no, too much? I have no problem making video. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. That would be really amazing. Okay. Cool. Cool. And I guess um, the other thing that I think would be super amazing for this game is potentially like that's one thing I saw with Warzone for a time. I believe it had some of the best matchmaking, and it's because of this mode it had. It was called Mobile Royale, and I've noticed one thing with a lot of mobile games is they had a lot of bots to try to go ahead and get 
uh, the games full quickly, a lot of, lots mm, of times. Mm. And so one thing with Warzone is you had less people playing and the game modes were way faster. So it kind of solved like two birds with one stone. You're able to get a more realistic and engaging experience, but at the same time, you're also not filling with bots and it's also loads up really quickly. And I think something like that, that's mm. also like promoted would help the game a lot. So people don't feel like they're running into bots all the time because that does cause a few issues some sometimes. Yeah, but I, I see, I also see, uh, who was it? I also see some comments on leading more players on the same battlefield. Like, <laughs> I mean, I think, yeah, I think that kind of solves that as well. Cause like, if you have like a, a circle, like let's say this um, here, what are, what is it, what would be called? A, uh, the mobile Royale mode it would like increase the time. So maybe instead of like a 15 minute match, it's a seven match, seven minute match. So instead of having, I don't know, six, uh, 40 real players and 20 bots, just for example, you would have, well, you would just have way more real players and then almost zero bots. And by going ahead and increasing, uh, well, and lowering the amount of time they have and then increasing the speed of the zone, you're just gonna cause more interactions. So it's mm. gonna feel like there's way more people playing the game, even though it's not, because one, there's they're all bots and two, everyone's kind of forced to push and move into each other a bit quickly, quicker rather. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a complicated uh, topic. Um, in uh, so there, uh, the the uh, the culture can also be very different in in different regions. So for example, mm. um, in China, uh, where uh, Call of Duty is really huge game in China, whether it's um, uh, PC console or mobile, it's, it's huge. Um, yeah. Uh, in in China, they they put a lot of bots into the game. Uh, yeah. And they find that it's good for um, not not specifically for competitive purposes, uh, but for you know building up the player base and you know um, smoothing it out for new players. Um, mm -hmm. So so it um, it's it's not necessarily a really bad thing for have, uh, to have bots. Um, uh, I understand uh, a lot of the community they don't want bots at all um, in, yeah. in the lobby, um, but it's and we, we have to, we have to think about it, um, and and especially when we're not you know having a huge player base at the moment, True. it's kind of like an unnecessary evil. Yeah, um, right now. No, I, so. I understand it. I'll be mean, like like once it gets to that spot, another game mode where you have something like that, maybe have like a fire symbol or something around it, just say hey, if you guys want a, a really intense experience or something like that go ahead and maybe check this out mm. but yeah we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll think about it yeah but we, okay. we, we, we have to be really careful not to split uh, the matchmaking cues um it's, it's understandable yeah. it can be very tricky it's fair yeah yeah because yeah that caught i uh, remember especially with apex mobile that was a big problem goodness there was like seven eight exactly. game modes at one time but um i guess the very last thing it was just a idea i had and i think farley has something like this already but I don't think there's been really a futuristic type uh, extraction game mode where you kind of take the idea of an extraction shooter, maybe speed it up, streamline streamline a lot of things, and then go ahead and give it a um, more futuristic feel. I'm not sure if that'll even ever be possible, but if there is a game to do, I definitely think Farley could potentially add something like that. Essentially like Tarkov, maybe Meek's Apex, where you have movement, uh, maybe futuristic abilities, all that, all in an extraction shooter, really high stakes, speeds up that type of game over. It's super intense, but then you also have uh, something with movement because seeing a, a arena breakout and people liking that game, but some people wanting something a little bit faster definitely made me think about that. Mm. Mm. Um, I do, I do believe last year um, the team was talking about you know something related to extract the extraction gameplay. Um, mm. But right now we're we're more we're more focused on the battle royale um, part in in the part where uh, you know it's it's not too hardcore. We want we want it to be you know accommodating yeah. for more players first um mm -hmm. and then we're we're gonna look at okay there, there are all these different types of more hard kind of more hardcore gameplay that we can we can look at um i, I do believe we, we 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 went through that idea last year <laughs> okay guys we got you well yeah i guess those are my main points i'll probably put any of quality of life things i have uh in the chat but thanks for having me thank you so much thank you so much yeah and i guess keep up the good work with the game because it, it genuinely looks amazing and i see I, I guess i see some sort of vision that you guys are uh getting to which is really nice. thank you thank you we we do we do put a lot of efforts um into making the game and um not just making the game we um the um, I think we we, we also want to, in terms of you know the community, we also want to keep the communication flow going, mm -hmm. um, and it, it is something that we we're just really dedicated 
um to the game so okay well then uh great i guess i'll catch you guys later thank you so much thank you so much um i need okay no one's raising your hand uh request to speak hey alex can you hear me hello hi hello can you hear me yes oh, okay well um uh, uh i i wanted to talk about uh a map to rank uh, so because we have two maps in the game and i i think it's important to that we just have a map to run by the more players join the game i don't know and also uh, i wanted to talk about for mobile optimization because um, i'm creator and in latin and i think it's important to to have a good op optimization that uh, because mm. the game the game uh, can grow up um, more more in this region region yeah yes yes i agree thank you um i think uh optimization is something that we um that we we put a lot of um emphasis on um the i think the version that uh, that you're testing right now um that all of you are testing right now um even if it's not very well optimized yet i think if it, it's it's decent enough to play um on you know just a regular android phone um uh, but we definitely need more work done with lower end devices as well um uh, so that everyone can enjoy can enjoy the game um, yeah yeah we, because mm. sorry uh, yes please please uh, yeah because um if i if i can play the game with good optimization i i will enjoy uh, play firelight 84 you know and it, it's important to to have a good optimization to to enjoy that definitely definitely we're we're gonna work uh, hard on that and uh before uh the frozen updates on september 12th we're gonna um, release um, a short optimization report as well um, so that uh, people can know you know uh, if, if my device is uh, like this um, how well am I going to run the game uh, and in the future we're going to continue working on optimization right now because we're, we've added so many things to the game in this version um, it's it's going to be a bit tricky we're going to try our best um, but we, we can't assure that you know um, the lowest end of devices um, can run the game really smoothly. Um, uh, but in the future, it's definitely something that um, that's on our list. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. I guess, let me see. Um, I'm going to invite um, other creator. Hi, Hoda. Buenas, buenas noches. Aquí en Colombia. ¿Sí se escucha? Sí, I will. Hablar con más despacio. Ok, está bien. Bueno, eh, mi pregunta es, como creador de contenido, me interesa mucho el tema de el, la modalidad Coliseo. Siento que es un modo de juego entretenido, eh, dinámico, algo rápido. Se puede crear, eh, digamos, torneos y dar variedad tanto para la comunidad y pues darle un poco más de crecimiento al juego, ¿no? Entonces, la pregunta en concreta es, ¿la modalidad de coliseo será optimizada y dejará de ser ya una beta como tal? Espera un momento. Uh, let's see, cause his question is uh, um, about uh, coliseo mode. I think it's an entertaining, dynamic and fast-paced game mode. But the movement is a little, a little bit slow or not. Because he wants to know our future up, uh, of how to improve the movement more fast. -paced. Yeah, um, that was exactly the same topic that Tiger was talking about. Um, and it, I would really love to um, ask Tigon to, to make a video about it. Um, and we're going to present it to the devs team and, and see, uh, watch together and see um, what are the things that we can do to make it better. Um, there, there's definitely a lot more that we can do. Uh, one thing um, I want to I wanna touch on uh, first person perspective is, uh, again, uh, because the movement um, in first person perspective and third person perspective um, the, the way to design it could be very different um, and we're, we're, we're definitely moving towards uh, a first person perspective mode um, in the future. Um, not right now, we're still uh, a few months away uh, from a first person perspective, but we're definitely moving towards and, uh, and we, we have to keep, keep that in mind as well. Um, first person perspective will instantly make it feel faster. Um, but it's not about, you know, better. Uh, it's just faster. It's a little bit faster. Um, uh, but the problem that Taigon was talking about 
Um, I I personally think uh, they're 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 all valid, and I and I do want um, um, to see more movement changes um, uh, in the game as well. I think I think what Tygon was talking about was not just about movement speed, but it's more about the mechanics, um, how you move, um, how uh, how how you can um, uh, how you can make your movement make sense in different scenarios. Um, so so I think I think that's more about. What what Tiger was talking about? Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna look at that. Uh, if you have um, any suggestions, please. Um, if if you would be able to make a video um, to go through it, um, uh, showing some some of the cases or some of the, the examples that you can um, uh, that you feel like, oh, it it, it might work in Farda eighty four. It might work in this scenario. Um, this and that. That would be perfect. Vale, Lisa Cat dice que eh, en su opinión no solo es un simple pregunta sobre la velocidad rápida, eh, porque queremos hacer este movement, esta velocidad más razonable. Eh, vamos a presentarlo al mejor equipo para ver juntos qué podemos hacer y qué cosas podemos mejorar. Eh, definitivamente hay mucho más que podemos hacer. Una cosa que quiero mencionar sobre la perspectiva en primera persona es que nuevamente el movimiento eh, en primera persona y en tercera persona, la forma de diseñarlo puede ser muy diferente. Definitivamente nos estamos moviendo hacia algún modo en primera persona en el futuro, pero no ahora mismo. Y todavía estamos a unos meses de la perspectiva en la primera persona, pero definitivamente vamos a esta dirección y tenemos que tenerlo en cuenta también. Eh, la perspectiva en primera persona hará que se sienta más rápido al instante, pero no se trata de que sea mejor, solo será más rápido, un poco más rápido. Y si tienes otras sugerencias y preguntas en español, puedes proponer con yo, -yo conmigo, en privado. Porque en este canal la mayoría de los creadores uh, todavía hablan inglés. <ríe> por eso a lo mejor su pregunta no se puede entender muy bien por los demás. Esperamos que entiendan. Vale. vale, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Ok, gracias. Thank you, Lisa Cos. You can answer the prox uh, siguen, uh, próximas preguntas. Following questions. Hello, guys. Hello, Lisa Cos. Oh, sorry, I was muted. I, sorry, I was muted. I didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. The first thing I want to ask, I want to say I like the new update so much and I can't wait to try it. Like, it's going to be so good. And on my first stream, I'm thinking they push Mythic, but the rank system rewards are so less and it's taking so long, almost 40 hours. You have to keep playing and don't lose anything. Then you can be Mythic. It's like, you know, so hard. Are you guys going to make any changes about this? Um, you mean, do you mean the rewards or do you mean the, the how hard it is? so long. Yeah, both of them. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I think, I think right now we. Okay, that we was do... my only question because like all, <laughs> like my old questions. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the only question that you that you have that wasn't asked by Zach. <laughs> yeah, Zach took my old questions like almost ten questions. I know. I think. Uh, I think for. Um, for I think we have to put more rewards um, in in ranked. Uh, that's um, definite. Um, we again, even even for the season pass um, and even for the new skins, um, we we're, we're we're kind of falling behind in terms of churning out new content. In terms of you know the, the cosmetic content that you can get as rewards, whether it's um, uh, uh, by in -app, through in app purchases or um, through events. Um, I think in general. Uh, it's not just the ranked rewards um, that doesn't feel rewarding. It's it's like the, uh, all of the rewards um, in total don't feel rewarding enough. Um, you you don't you don't have you know a very good um, feedback on okay I've I've achieved this achievement and I'm gonna get this reward and and it and the rewards come constantly um, whether it's um, every week or every day or uh, you know um, through uh, you know I, I achieved certain. Uh, 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 to a certain rank, um, I do agree that the rewards just aren't enough. They just aren't there. Um, so that's definitely something that we have to work on. Um, uh, I, 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 what I don't know um, is I don't know uh, in which season or in which update, specific update, um, are we going to be able to implement um, a system where there's enough rewards for everything. Um, when, when it comes to um, uh, a lot of 
um, game rewards designed uh, by Chinese studios, including uh, Wild Rift. Um, Wild Rift is actually designed by a Chinese studio. They uh, the game is a lot more rewarding than even you know the PC version of League of Legends. Um, so um, I can assure you that. Um, uh, as a Chinese developer and as a Chinese studio, we understand the the importance of um, having you know rewards after rewards. Um, it's it's just that we we ha we're not catching up yet um, uh, in that regard. Um, but yeah, we're, we'll definitely work on it. I I hope that there's going to be more rewards uh, in the game. But whether it's more um, whether it's too too difficult to climb up the rank, I don't I don't know. That's something that we we should necessarily work on. Um, I think it's it's the rewards that we're that we should work on. Um, even if you don't, even if you don't um, spend enough time grinding grinding the ranks, um, there should be a system where um, you know more casual players um, or you know uh, players that are not that don't play as well as the others, uh, they're able to get rewards as well. Um, it's like different different reward tiers. Um, for different players, if that makes sense. Um, that's definitely that something that we understand that we have to work on. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> we're, we're we're still catching up with with uh, with the development pipeline. So so I'm so I'm so sorry about it. It's okay. And I can ask one more question about the clan expansion. Is there going to be any clan expansion? Like we can invite sixty people to clan because it's only eight now. Mm. Uh, that's also something the sec was talking about for a very very long time. Um, I, yeah. I think it's, um, yeah, it's not, the problem is, it's not just um, adding the number from 8 to 60. Um, it, it affects a lot of other uh, systems as well. Um, so so I, I'll try to put it back on, 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 the, on the agenda. But right now, because all of the development efforts are put into the, you know, the really important uh, gameplay elements uh, where, where it, uh, that lay the foundation for the game, uh, for the future of the game, um, I, I, I'm not able to, you know, uh, really push through some of the um, uh, more uh, uh, um, other features of the game um, uh, forward in the development pipeline. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it and and see when we can put it back on track. <laughs> it, it gets pushed back. Some of the older requests, um, they they just get pushed back again and again because you know. The development pipeline is just so full, um, but yeah, we we know that we know that. Yeah, it's okay. That was all my questions. Thanks for your reply. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I, I I'm not sure if I can hear you. I actually think I can't hear you now. Can you hear me now? Is it good now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, and uh, thanks for the invite to play the new version of the game and uh, I have like a little suggestion for the game. I haven't played the better version yet because I haven't been able to access it but I'm playing the normal um, Farlight version and uh, I want to say that the, for the gyroscope setting it's a little, it's not a little bit, it's like slow. I've maxed out my uh, settings for the screen, like the general settings you know the one where you rotate your screen normally and it's actually very slow compared to mm. the previous game like that I was playing that's blood strike you know mm. gyroscope and also, right yeah the gyroscope is slow and uh, uh I'm just gonna wait for the FPP before I talk about the movement because it looks like the movement is going to be like it's going to look faster when we're in FPP mood you know so yeah and I'm still yeah, there, like there was actually a fake FPP you know like a bug, like a bug that I saw. Um, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot uh, who uploaded that video. But there, there was a bug video where it's a fake FPP mode, um, and it yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> All right, I I just hope that uh, the FPP mode is actually good. You know, so like it's fast, like the movement and everything. Because uh, I think these days people want more fast-paced action for battle royale games. That's why uh, a lot of people have left PUBG mobile you know I mean they have loyal players but a lot of people that were there before have actually gone out of the game including me so I would say that uh, the movement should be increased and people are really gonna like it's like more I don't know I'm, I'm just playing it for the like the first time 
today and i've had you know good time since i started i was even playing it like right now so the game is good so far i've seen a lot of good things i've seen a lot of unique things but I'm looking forward to seeing what the better version has and it's nice you know joining the far light community thank you thank you so uh movement um yeah movement comes up so much um in this chat today um i i i think it's definitely something that we have to um look carefully into yes definitely it it comes up so yeah. many times today yeah all right thank you thank you um is there anyone else who want to take the stage and discuss oh my god i'm back let me let me go through i'm back again for two more questions ladies oh, you're, you're you're back from <laughs> okay yeah. okay you're back from the dead from the oh. dead um i wanted to ask is it possible to add finishers in the game executions would that be too much uh it's it's not too much um uh but i don't i don't let me let me let me think about it did i see it somewhere It'd be nice i too. think it came up i think it came up in many many discussions in the past but i i haven't seen an actual demo of it um oh. but it came up in so many discussions in the past yeah it would be nice to like um you know finish a duck side or like a snail that's down just to take my revenge as an ember you know? <laughs> <laughs> um another one yeah, I'm, well. I'm sure i'm mm -hmm. sure it's on the radar Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Uh, melee weapons as well is another uh, question. Melee weapons, swords, katanas, uh -huh. daggers. I haven't, I haven't seen any like melee weapons um, so far. I don't think it's in the. Yeah, I don't think it's in the works. Um, in the development. At least works. for now. Right, okay. Yeah, at least for now. All right. Cool. Yeah. See. Ya. Yeah, but rather, if if I were the game designer, I would do like heroes with like melee attacks um but you know in a way that's balanced that would be a, a good way to complement a melee weapon in into fire oh, i like, would say like an ability <laughs> so it will be like a skill yeah yeah rather than you know a, a weapon that every, everyone can loot um it, it's just easier for game balance if if it were me <laughs> domain bye, -bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Request to speak. Is it because they checked uh, who are raising his hand? Yes, I was. Okay, thank you. Um, I guess I had a few more things I thought about. I wrote them in chat, yes, but I can read please. them off here. So I guess one thing is, I believe the other thing about the movement looking slow is like the an the animations as well. I think that's another thing that makes people feel like it looks really sluggish um, mm. for them. And then here was another thing I noticed. There is like a auto uh, mode switch button now, and I like using that. However, one thing I noticed in like a lot of games, you kind of accidentally hit that. Some players accidentally hit that in gunfights. So I know mm. some games allow you to actually move that button. And then mm, some mm, games mm. also allow you to just hold down that, uh, hold down the shoot button. And like, let's say you hold it down for like two seconds, then it'll like click or whatever. And then it'll like switch to uh, melee, not melee, auto versus um, semi-auto. Mm, mm, mm. And gotcha. then, like, that, that could potentially like clear up some buttons on screen as well uh, another thing it's kind of similar to what zach was saying like melee weapons but for holster so like whenever you're holstered you automatically have a melee weapon that you might have bought like for example warzone uh uh they're gonna be adding something like that in their newest uh newest iteration which was kind of interesting i saw that at cod next and i guess uh these are things i had said before but i still think they could be implemented pretty well and that's just more environmental movement uh so like a throwback to something like sunset overdrive and then like a uh, parkour movement style so like maybe when you go into like a full sprint you enter like a parkour mode and let's say you jump and you're able to like hang on to something like and then climb to a window mm. stuff like that to where it feels like the movement's dynamic in that aspect and then i guess uh lastly uh kind of promoting uh the voice chat use because i remember early on in Fortnite, that was one thing that was like really unique about it like a lot of people were using voice chat in the proc chat and it kind of makes it uh really fun for in uh, for interactions like it creates lots of different mm, mm, mm. gotcha gotcha yeah but i guess that's all i have for now thanks for having me thank you um animation we're, we're actually gonna, gonna do some mocap motion capture um in uh, i think next month probably uh, and and the 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 motions the animation is gonna uh be a lot better uh, okay. than it is now mm. well, no, it but it doesn't good. solve the other problems as you mentioned yeah true yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah because uh, the other problems that you mentioned uh, they're they're more like design yeah it's just the overall than... flow of it which i think yeah if it yeah. can get fixed i see one of its biggest audience being something like cod mobile not that cod mobile is like bad 
but overall like in the grand scheme of things it hasn't had the craziest amount of attention put onto it and those players would i think gravitate to farlight a lot like really really well gotcha gotcha yeah. all right thank you so much uh i'm gonna i'm gonna even fight anubis um i can't and um i can't and fight anubis are you here um i was trying to can you request to speak again um i think i pressed i think i can't i can't transfer it to you i don't know why anubis i can't i can't give the mic to you um i don't know why uh you, the the icon is gray um i'm gonna i'm gonna transfer it to um rocks rock first aj hello hi hello let's guess and yo yo uh my question is that uh i want to ask a question from india side as we can see that pilot 84 has not been advertised in india for many years so what will be the next step of pilot 84 in india is there any plan for india and can we know that mm. um thank you for the question uh, it's 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 not uh oh I don't want to talk about very specific regions, um, but from the global perspective, uh, we're not uh, not just in India. We're we're just not ready for a a large marketing push um, globally yet. Um, so right now we're we're we're, we're think uh, we're planning to add more content to the game, including new map, new heroes, um, new buddies, um, and and other element new weapons as well uh, so we, we want more content in the game more gameplay mechanics uh, to be refined um until until then uh, we're not gonna do you know a, a really huge marketing push around the world um and then when we are ready uh we're gonna talk about it um and we're gonna uh, share uh more news um uh, with you guys um so uh it's not just about india it's it, uh, in general around the world we're just not ready just yet. We're not there yet. Okay, okay. Right. Um, I'm gonna try to. So I just can't invite Anubis. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but um, it isn't oh, working. Look is texting in the chat. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I. I don't. Okay. Um. So Anubis' question is: uh, the lag and ping problems been solved? Because I, I'm still very lagging in the test version, even though my mobile is powerful. Um, yeah, the test the test version is not final. So yeah, whether it's optimization um, or, you know, everything in the game is just not final. So um, in the ping problem with the test version is definitely because of the server, because the, the test version is only located in certain regions and you're connecting to a different region of server. So uh, the ping the ping problem is definitely uh, present unless you are very close to the test region, which include um, I remember it's it's uh, part of the Middle East. Um, so if you're close to that region, uh, you might accidentally have good ping. <laughs> but other than that, you you are expected to have really bad ping connecting to the test server. Yes, Maxi. Uh, my last question. Let me let me check. Um, let me check. Uh, my last question is: It would be better if it rewards not by redeeming boxes, but by missions. Yeah, uh, reward system. Uh, it definitely needs some work. Um, it's just not rewarding um, at the moment. Uh, the rewards are not just enough. I think I think it's not just where we put the rewards, but how many rewards we are. Uh, are available in the game overall. Um, we, we have to have more rewards available in the game overall, um, and then we can look at, uh, you know, how how are we going to allocate these uh, rewards and resources. Store hard to wait seven days to get gold skin. Yeah, the, these are um, all rewards related. We need more rewards. I think I think that's um, that's the first, you know, the first and foremost thing we have to do. Um, but we are not able to do it yet. Um, I don't think we're going to have so many rewards in the season either. Um, but hopefully um, in next season or probably closer to next year, we're going to have uh, be able to put more of the development pipeline towards, um, you know, cosmetics and rewards. But again, it's um, I, I want to say that it's it's two sides of a coin, whether whether you want the, uh, the development effort to be put into skins or you want the development effort to be put into the actual gameplay. Right now, for us, um, uh, the, the actual gameplay is way more important than the cosmetics and skins. Um, and that's why we are, you know, we are really putting effort into gameplay instead of the skins. Um, and that's why you're not getting enough skins uh, as, re as rewards in the game. Um, but in the future, this uh, this this t the tide is going to shift a little bit uh, when we when we have enough 
um, uh, uh, things done with the gameplay, we're gonna shift the tide and then move towards um, doing the skins. Joystick, um, okay, joystick, but hard to switch between semi, yeah, um, cover that as well. Hard to switch between semi and auto rival. Um, um, Tiger also talk, touched on uh, accidentally touching the button. Okay, okay. Um, which, uh, let me look at the other questions. Um, oh gosh, ping, ping in TDM mode works fine, but the Battle Royale is heavy, heavy frame drop, frame drop issue. Uh, we have to look at the specific device um, to, to see uh, if there is a specific issue with a certain device or chipset. Um, so if you have any um, ping or um, frame rate drop related issues, um, send out the message through um, the 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 score bug bot expect new map this year or next next year new map uh expect next year um it's not gonna arrive this year next year early next year i'd say rank system also needs some changes because mythic ranking rank taking 40 48 hours to reach were different i again i i would i would say um it's one um the the difficulty of a certain rank is one aspect of it and the reward is another aspect of it so we can uh uh, uh it's, it's like a um it's, it's a delicate balance so you want so the, the 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 best design is to have a certain rank very difficult to reach but at the same time it's really rewarding um, whether it's um cosmetic wise or uh, uh you know um uh glory wise so it's the the rank at least some of the ranks should be really difficult to reach and the rewards should be really rewarding and right now i don't think it's 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 a it's a problem of uh having some ranks too difficult to reach but the rewards are not there so you don't feel like you want to reach that rank you don't feel like it um it's worth it to place so much um or uh it's worth it to be so hard to reach that rank um so i i would I would think of it that way. Keep going with gameplay, no native skins. Okay, okay. Um, I'll, 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 I'll wait for Anubis um, final question. And um, I think we are going to wrap it up. Couple of last questions in the chat room. A couple of bots. Did you talk about it? Currently, we're having so many bots in our server. Yeah, we, uh, we, we touched on the topic of bots. Um, and I think right now it, it's a mix of, uh, it's a mix of issues that lead to the number of bots that you see in the game. Um, so first of all, if you if you are a relatively new player, let's say, uh, you're gonna definitely gonna see more bots uh, in in the lobby. Um, uh, it's a mechanism to you know smooth you into uh, the experience. Um, and when you know if if, if you're not a new player. Um, the issue is the number of actual players um, that are matchmaking um, uh, in your specific server or region. Um, right now, because we're uh, we, we did see a decline after the removal of Jetpack, right? That that's a fact. Um, and and the number of because of, of the decline of the number of players, um, it's more difficult to match real players into a match. Uh, so, uh, but to maintain a uh, a relatively short um, uh, uh, number of queue time. Um, there are more bots um, in 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 the queue lobby. So so it's it's a it's a mix of different factors. Um, um, right now, I think uh, it, it really depends on the region that you're in. In certain regions, it's definitely better. Um, in some regions, for example, um, I think in Europe or uh, Middle East, um, the the bots the bot issue might be uh, a, a lot more serious because. Um, there are fewer players, and and the, and the time zones are scattered across a wider um, area, physical area. Um, so in certain regions, it's it's more serious, and in some regions, it's not as serious. We can choose a proper will first replace. I don't know yet uh, whether FTP is going to replace TP, uh, TPP or um, whether uh, they're going to. Uh, uh, exist coexist. I don't know as of now. So first person perspective, we're work, we're still working on it. Uh, you can see in right now in this um, in this version, uh, we are kind of like I don't know thirty percent through there, <laughs> uh, through the way. We're still we're we're still at um, around half a year um, until we have you know kind of like full uh, FPP um, ready 
um, for for everyone. Um, so I don't, I can't say for sure whether we're gonna replace uh, TVP or uh, coexist. Um, if if they're gonna coexist, um, there are issues that we need to solve. Um, so yeah, PC playing on PC or base that can make matchmaking so fast. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea to allow mobile players to play on PC lobbies. Um, it 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 might be a good good idea. All right, I think um, that's basically all for today. If you have uh, more ideas, um, please um, feel free to drop us a message. Um, and we we also look through a, all of your videos um, on YouTube. So if you have um, other suggestions, um, please uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, and it would be best if you can, uh, you know, for example, uh, for all the movement issues that you mentioned, because movements right now, I can see that movement is really important um, uh, topic for the community. Um, if you, because you are the creators, if you are able to create some videos to explain your ideas, um, uh, it would be really great because it would really help us understand more clearly your vision um, of movements um, uh, and, and, we, and we can see how we can implement some of the ideas um, in the game. Uh, so please, if you have, it, whether it's movements or other aspects of the game, if you have specific ideas, please uh, do create some videos and uh, share with us. Uh, we're we're going to watch it um, and we're going to really think about uh, how, how we can implement uh, your ideas. So thank you so much. Um, Zach, little mark button. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great, uh, I don't know, <laughs> all around the world.